welcome you all because you've all travelled, well, some of you have travelled quite far, some of you not so much. Um, so thank you for everyone here to coming here today because, of course, we are launching something very, very special, launching the Audi Sports Ab Schaffler Formula E team. Um, now, I think it's very appropriate that the first person we get up on stage to talk about why, why Audi are joining Formula E, is a member of the board for technical development at Audi. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Peter Mertens. Hi, Peter. Hey, How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's official. This is happening now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but very exciting. It is very exciting indeed. Um, I think we should probably start off with the big question, really, that everyone wants to know why. You know, why have Audi decided to now officially have a team in Formula E? Well, I think it's very clear. It's a very, very interesting series. And it's obviously a different series than all the series existing. And it's uh, important for us to be part of this electrification effort, not only on in our engineering and on, on the road, really on the tracks. It's going to be the future, and we're going to learn a lot. So, And it is very exciting racing. In 2025, we're going to have like you know significantly more than 20 electrified variances, which of at least 12 are battery electric vehicles. That shows how important electrification is for us, but it also shows how important it is with Formula E and those kinds of uh, you know, activities to really learn and get ahead of the curve. Will you please welcome the head of Audi Motorsport, Dieter Gass. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a big commitment for us, uh, that's for sure. Uh, we're now taking over the whole operation. That means uh, development of the, of the three elements of the car, the drivetrain, goes over to, to Audi and Treffler with our technology partner. And uh, we will uh, take over the responsibility on the racetrack together with the team that has done the operation so far with APT. Wow. Thank you, Dieter. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. First official appearance. What do you think Formula E really, really brings to motor racing? You know, what, what are you attracted to? I think Mr. Martin said it earlier on. It's very new and it's embryonic, so it's developing all the time. But because it doesn't necessarily have the historical nature about it, then it can define its own path. And that's quite interesting for me is the way that it's defining its own path. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Hello, how are you? Hi. Check out those shoes. It's cool, huh? Very nice. <laughs> wow. Electric. <laughs> they're, hybrid, hybrid. they're definitely not electric, <laughs> they're, but there's something <laughs> special. <laughs> we have two drivers, obviously, this year again. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy and, and very proud that uh, today I can announce uh, a new factory driver uh, at Audi. It's a known face in the ambience, uh, but still it's a new situation for us and for him. And I would like to welcome Daniel Abt as our new factory driver. And now you're an Audi factory driver. I mean, this has been such an incredible journey for you. How does it feel? Um, good evening, first of all. Um, it feels incredible. It's, it's like a little dream come true for myself. Um, because obviously, I was born and raised in a family which was always connected with Audi and so I was always connected with Audi and never cheering for another brand than Audi. But of course, it's, it, it felt like a relationship that was always there and now we're kind of married and uh, I'm, just, I'm just really proud to be, to be part and a huge thanks to, to everyone involved in this project for having the belief in me uh, and giving me the chance to, to be an Audi factory driver. It's um, a great day for me. Um, I mean, this is when this is when it, things get real. It's it's you know big time now. We're going into season four. It's probably the right time to now get your teammate up, which I'm sure you might have guessed who that's going to be. Uh, so I would now like to welcome up on stage the reigning Formula E champion, Lucas Degrassi.
So here we have the brand new Audi e-tron FE04 with Lucas Degrassi behind the wheel. Wow, look at the new livery. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Wow. Lucas, come and join us up on stage. Huge round of applause. Congratulations. Very nice car. New wheels. What do you think? Looks good. Well, looks amazing. I saw it the other day and uh, I just fell in love. It's a, it's a beautiful machine. It's uh, the, the spirit of, uh, of the Audi e-tron inside. We made a big step from, um, from, from last year. So I'm very happy that uh, Audi now joined Schaffler and Abt uh, on this uh, with the full power now, and we are very happy that we can um, uh, make this beautiful uh, machine run as fast as it can go. So it looks good. What about the inside? I know you're not going to share that much information, but can you give us a few, you know, little tidbits about the technical development of this car? Uh, did they say it has one gear? Oh, can I say that? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we've, made a, we've made a big step. Um, we optimized all the drivetrain. From, uh, from every, last year the car was already very competitive, so it's very difficult to improve from something which is already extremely good. Uh, but of course with the, with the Audi know-how from the, from the hybrid part, from the, 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 the car that I drove, the R18 for so many years, combined with the Schaffler expertise, we managed to optimize every single part. We managed to improve a lot of software, the MGU, the electric motor, uh, the components of the gearbox, the differential, um, pretty much every part of the car that you're allowed to develop, we looked at every fine detail and we made sure that we could uh, go the next step so we could fight for more wins and more victories. That's what we like to hear. There's been a, a lot of winning talk in this room, by the way. No pressure. That's true. So uh, up to this stage, we just uh, the only thing I can say is that everybody, all the engineers, everybody, uh, all the team behind, the mechanics, everybody did a fantastic job of putting this car together. But we're going to see the true potential when we compare with the others. Absolutely. Well, guys, we have to just say a huge, huge good luck. Massive, massive thank you uh, for showing us the new car. Um, and before we give you a big round of applause, there will be an opportunity. Um, everyone that's been up on stage are going to be going to the car for a photo. So uh, everyone, please get stuck in, take as many photos as you want. Um, and for anybody watching on social media, don't go anywhere because we're going to be doing a little Q&A with the drivers and the teams. So on that note... Thank you so much, and uh, time for a photo. Thank you. Mm -hmm.